In this video, we'll look at how Citrix Service Continuity works from an Android device with Citrix Workspace app. We begin by adding a store URL that supports Service Continuity. As of present, Service Continuity on Android is in public tech preview and needs to be explicitly enabled for your cloud site. Service Continuity is designed to mask outages and keep your users productive. With the store added, we can proceed to log in with our credentials. Once logged in, it typically takes around 5 to 10 minutes before the lease files are generated and downloaded to the device. We can check the status of lease files downloading by going to Settings, Service Continuity, and choosing Service Continuity Details. Here we see that the lease count on both the server and device match at 24. This means that all the lease files have successfully downloaded. If they do not match, you can go back to the store list screen and reload the store again. That should trigger a connection to re-download the lease files. With the lease files downloaded, we're ready to test service continuity on our Android device. We'll check the work offline setting. This setting is only present to test during the tech preview to simulate a mock outage. From here, we go back to the store list page and load the store again. Now that we've transitioned to offline mode, you'll notice the informational banner at the top. Usually this transition will happen automatically if there's a cloud service outage, and the banner is shown if Workspace app is restarted or launched during the outage. Otherwise, Workspace app will try online mode first before silently falling back to offline mode without notice. We've triggered the offline mode manually here for the purposes of our demo. In offline mode, these are the resources available to us. Note that in some cases, it may not be all of the resources, depending on the outage and resource types available. We'll proceed to launch a published desktop and notice the dialog that's presented. This dialog is only shown in offline mode. The desktop launch process will continue, and once launched, we'll need to enter our credentials to the desktop. This is required when operating in offline mode. We'll just close the connection for now. To switch back to online mode, we again go to Settings and Service Continuity, then uncheck the Work Offline setting. This disables the mock outage. Next, when we go back to the store, we choose Reconnect to Workspace in the top banner, and that transitions us back to online mode. Try Service Continuity today in your Citrix virtual apps and desktop service environment. For more information, refer to docs.citrix.com.